guys, Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia, back with another video. This one I'm pretty excited about. I've been wanting to do this one. Just had to get some things together in order to make it happen. So got us a heat box here. It's got a 250 watt IR bulb in it. So we're gonna use that to simulate heat as in from the sun. And we've got some slides set up here with some tint on them. Um, this is primarily to highlight the ceramic lineup. They added a couple of ceramics to the lineup and to highlight their heat blocking capabilities. But I've also got the metalized film in here. I've got a dark dyed and obviously a clear slide. So we're gonna go through all these. We're gonna measure them with a solar power meter. So what this does is we're gonna put it in front of each and every test, it's gonna turn it into a number. It's a little bit easier for us to understand. And that number is gonna be BTU measurement, British Thermal Unit. Very popular in the heat world, measuring heat. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna get everything set up. So we're gonna actually, we're gonna measure without a slide in it, just the bulb heat itself. Call it your window rolled down on a hot summer day. And then we're gonna roll the window up and use a clear slide. And then we'll move on from there. We've got, uh, all of this is, Tint Depot's window film, most in which I carry in stock. Uh, this is 5% superior charcoal. That's my dyed line. It's a premium line. It's a lifetime warranty film. We've got the 20% HP charcoal. Again, another premium line. It's a metalized film, so it does block a little bit of heat. We've got the 20% ceramic IR, which is a fairly new film. I've worked with it a little bit. I like it. Um, this is the good, better, best lineup, by the way. This is the better. Uh, this is the film I've used for quite a while, the Ceramic Extreme. That's again in 20%. And then their premium line, uh, or their best ceramic, is the 20% Ceramic IR Plus, which is pretty impressive. So we're gonna put some, uh, we're gonna put some tests on all of these films. We're gonna see what they can actually do. We'll put it, uh, put it to numbers and I'll get set up so you can actually see the numbers uh, as we go through each film on the meter and we'll go from there. Let's check this out. Okay, so I've got everything set up. Uh, you've got a nice view of the meter here. The meter's at zero. It might fluctuate by 0.1 or so. But uh, first, let me explain what these numbers are gonna mean. So today it's raining. I'm not able to go. I was hoping to go outside and be able to show you what a sunny day would register on this, but unfortunately it's raining today. Yesterday I did it. It was about 67 degrees, about 1030, middle of September, nice and sunny. I went out, put the sun to my face, turned the meter on, and it read about 330 BTU. So you can imagine a 60, 70, 67 degree comfortable day outside, sun on your face, warm, comfortable. I'll take days like that all day long, but that's what the 300 mark would feel like roughly. Now this bulb, turning it on and putting your hand in front of it like this uh, is very hot. Um, you can probably withstand that for a few seconds, but it would get to a point where it's very, very uncomfortable. So we're going to set the scene. You're in your car. It's a hot 92, 95 degree day. Your driver window's down. You're sitting at a stoplight. Your AC is off and the sun is just beating you in the side of the face. That's gonna be about what this registers. So what does that mean in a number? We're gonna use about five seconds for each test and we'll round up or down. So that was 745 BTU, so pretty hot, you can imagine. 90s outside, humid, sun's hitting your face, that's that uncomfortable, you can feel the burning, so Let's simulate rolling your window up, for example. So we'll put a slide in here with no tin on it whatsoever. Same situation, let's put a number to it. That was about five seconds, so we're sitting comfortably 585. So did it drop? Well, yeah, your glass or glass is gonna act as an insulator between the heat energy and the outside of the glass to the inside of the glass. So naturally it's going to block some it has to gen it has to transfer from the outside to the inside of the glass so that being said let's move on we're going to start with a dyed line now i used the darkest because a common misconception for your con your average consumer is the darker the tint the more heat it's going to block the cooler my car is going to be is that true well numbers wise you'll see yes that is kind of true but how much heat are you actually blocking with a dyed film. Now again, this is Tint Depot's premium lifetime warranty, superior charcoal in 5%. So let's tint that window, same scenario. We'll give it five seconds. A 
comfortably 518. So was there a drop? Yes. Much of one? No. To put that into a feel perspective, the clear glass to this glass with my hand in front of it, that small drop in number that you just saw is not much in feel. It's still very hot. So, but it did drop. So mathematically, we did get a drop in heat. So let's move into the films that actually do have some heat blocking capabilities in it. This is their metalized film. Again, a premium lifetime warranty film, 20% HP charcoal, metalized. So it does block some heat. So we'll put that in, we'll tint that driver window with it. Let's put it to the test. Three seventy four decent drop. So we do have some heat blocking going on there. So that's a good benefit. The downside is the worry of it being metalized. Is it going to block GPS signals, cell phone signals, things like that. So that's kind of the iffy of that good contender, not a deal breaker, but something to think about. I carry both the superior charcoal and the HP charcoal. So now the good, better, best in the ceramic, all of them 20% level playing field. We're going to start with the ceramic IR. We'll do the ceramic extreme and then the ceramic IR plus. So here's the ceramic IR. Again, these are all their premium lines. Just a good, better, best lineup. So we've tinted that window in the good ceramic IR film. 213, got a nice drop there, really nice drop from where we were, 560, 570 something, whatever it was, big drop. So what can ceramic do? Block a lot of heat. So this is the one I've used for a long time. It's got a lot of heat blocking capabilities to it. I like it, great film, sold a bunch of it. Let's see what it does. 188 respectively, huge drop. No, but this is a good, better, best lineup. So it is better than the ceramic IR. So last but not least, this is the one that's been super excited. I've been waiting on high performing film right here. Uh, blocks a lot of heat and you're about to see that. This is the 20% ceramic IR plus. little high we're gonna it's not high it's uh, 0 0.6 0 0.7 so we're gonna round that up to 81 so 81 81 that's a huge huge drop what does that feel like to your hand I turn the light on and put my hand right here I don't think I feel any heat honestly uh, I might a tiny 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 bit and I'm right against the box literally an inch from the glass and I hardly feel anything. When I've showed this to customers, they say they feel nothing. So super, super, super low. Um, I'm going to take these numbers, put them to paper, put some math to that paper, and we'll see what we come up with. And then we'll kind of do a, uh, a follow up. All right. So I've done the math. Is this an exact science? No, but it's going to regardless of the scenario, show you the performance capability of the films. This is my heat box, uh, you know, my, my scenario, my glass, my tint, my heat, heat box, my, my bulb, my meter. I tried to keep it constant to keep it fair. Uh, the meter was about four inches away from the glass. Now, obviously for the meter, the closer to the glass, the higher the number is going to be. And then further away, the lower the number is going to be. But mathematically, the percentage should be the same. So that being said, uh, as we know, it was very hot with our window rolled down and we put an insulator between us and the sun, which was our window rolled up and that dropped us 21% in heat. So obviously that's what it's going to do. The glass will insulate it and block some heat naturally, but not a lot. We've been in the car, we've had our window rolled up and the sun has just beaten us in the face through our window. It's very uncomfortable. It's still very hot. So yeah, we had a drop. Thank goodness for the glass, but not a whole lot. So the dyed film, this might be interesting to some people. We actually got a heat drop. Of course we did. It's, it's shading it. It's blocking out a certain amount of light. So we've got an 11% drop. So does it actually block heat? Yes. Is the amount of heat that's coming through the glass cooler? Yes. By 11%. So but the point is, is your diet is not a heat blocker. It's not, and that's 5%. In most states, you can't get away with 5% on your driver window. But that's just to kind of show that the, 
that misconception of me tinting my car and tinting, tinting it as dark as I can, but I just want that regular stuff. It's not doing much for you as far as heat. So we move up into a metallized film, which does have heat blocking capabilities. But again, there's the signal issues. Is it going to block GPS, cell phones, so on and so forth. But we did get a 36% drop. By the way, these numbers beyond this, the 21% on the clear glass is from window roll down to clear. We got a 21% drop. All the rest of these numbers are based on our window rolled up. So this 11% is from the clear glass, if that makes sense. The 36% is from the clear glass. So you can see how much more that would be if the window was rolled down and you rolled it up and had metalized film, for example. Now into the ceramic. What can ceramic do? What are the benefits of ceramic? By the way, these are all nano ceramic, which means they have tiny, tiny little particles in them in the manufacturing process. The smaller the particle, the clearer the film is going to be. These are very, very clear films when they're applied. So you don't have to worry about the low angle haze and all that other stuff you've heard of or may have heard of. Um, but the ceramic IR, 20%, we got a 64% drop from the clear glass. That's pretty big, well over half of the amount of heat that was being poured through that glass is being blocked, 64%. The better, not a huge difference, but still, numbers wise, it's still more heat being blocked, 68%. So only 32% of that heat's making it through that glass with that film installed on it. The last one, huge, 86%, 86%. That's a ton of heat being blocked, a ton. 14%, 14% of the heat is all that's making it through that glass. You can put your hand up near that glass on a hot 90 degree day, sun beating through the glass, and you shouldn't feel much heat at all. So there it is. This was fun. I've been wanting to put this together. I've been kind of itching to see what they do. I knew they blocked heat. I've seen examples, but I wanted to do it myself. So check them out, tintdepot.com. Check out the ceramics if you haven't already definitely do so these things shrink and install fantastic we've got videos uh, on me uh, testing them out and shrinking all of them uh, actually all of these films so definitely look for those videos if you have any questions reach out to us again tintdepot.com all the film and tools you'll need be sure to check out that ceramic especially that ceramic plus that is a high performing film and that will definitely keep your customers cool so, hey, thanks for watching. Can't wait for the next one.